In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build out your course outline using the Lifter LMS course builder in the back end. Let's go see what we have back there. Okay, here we are in the back end of our course that we have begun building. We're going to go all the way to the right and we're going to go all the way down to where it says launch the course builder. Now, when the course builder opens up, it's going to give us a new screen. And think of this as like writing an outline in high school. Remember, we used to have like the Roman numeral one, and then you'd indent, you'd have A, B, C, and then Roman numeral two, and then A, B, C, right? So it's a similar concept. We're going to work in sections and lessons. So we'll take the section. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead and follow the pattern that we're using with the quick start class. So let's say the first section is going to be getting started. I'll hit enter. I'll add another section and I can drag that over. See how this is dynamic and we can go up and down and put it wherever we want, but I'll put it down here at the bottom. Okay. And the next section that we have is going to be called create your course. Create your course. We'll enter that and we're going to add another section. And this one is going to be called launch your course. L A U N C H your course. And we hit enter. So now we've got our three sections. Now what we need to do is I'll click this little plus button here and that, that expands, right? We can expand or collapse the section. So I want to expand that section and I want to go ahead and add three lessons. So now I have the section and three lessons. Now, even though this periodically saves down here automatically, I'm going to keep checking as I add to this and periodically you'll see me click to save my changes. It's always good to do that. It's a good best practice to have. And in getting started, we're going to start with what is Lifter LMS. We'll save that one. The next one's going to be why choose Lifter LMS. And the next one is going to be who uses Lifter LMS. Who uses Lifter LM, oh, no space, LMS. So now I've got my three lessons. I've got a section and three lessons. And you'll notice it just clicked saving. It did that automatically. We'll go ahead, we'll add, we'll expand this section and we will add a lesson there. We'll add another lesson. We'll add another lesson. And in this section, create your course, we're going to do name your course, name your course. We're going to do add a course description, add course description, description. There we go. And you'll see, I fell a lesson short. So I'm just going to add another one right there. And this next one is going to be add course image, add, whoops, got ahead of myself. Add course image and enter. And for launch your course, uh, I think you get the idea here. We've got section and then lessons, section and then lessons. But just for the sake of, of finishing this out, let's go ahead and add two lessons right here. And one of them is going to be called celebrate and test. Celebrate and test. And the next one's going to be called start course marketing start course marketing okay I'll save that now where it says save changes i'll click that and you see it's saving it says saved and now that i have my work done in the outline i'm going to click exit this will take us back to our edit screen for our course and you'll see the work that we just did is going to fill in the bottom of our edit screen right here and we'll cover this later, but if I wanted to access those lessons, I could do that right here to edit those, or I can update the course that we're working on and I can choose to preview that in a new tab to see what my students would see. And this is what my students will see. They'll see a course page. And of course we have a sidebar with the syllabus on it as we create it. But on our course page, we also have a list of all the lessons included in that course. Fantastic.